Hi, today I'm going to be swatching the Bodyography Glitter Pigments. I believe I have all the shades apart from the four new ones that they released um, earlier this year, or was it last year? So yeah, I think I have like all of their original lineup. I'm gonna try to swatch them by like from the lightest to the darkest, but we'll see because it's a little hard to see them through the through the packaging. Uh, the first shade we have is Halo, which is like a silver. The only thing about these is that it's it's not the best opening to get your finger in. It's a little bit small, but I can work with it. Okay. So this one is like a silvery white. I think this one would work better as a topper. This is a Spirit Quartz. Uh, this is like a white to pink. You know, it has like that pink shift. It's one of those classic shades. I feel like Pat McGrath has a bunch of shades like this. This one does not look as sparkly as Halo, and I think it's the, the, the pink pigment that is just not that shiny. But it is sparkly, it's just not as sparkly as Halo, and I think you can clearly see that. This is Stratus. This is like a sheer pinky topper. This one is really pretty. And also very sparkly. So you can see it has a little bit of pink in it compared to the first one, Halo, that is quite more silver. This is a sparkler, which is like a gold, kind of gold topper. It's not super like yellow gold, it's more like a neutral gold, but it's definitely warmer than Spar uh, Stratus. This is bubbly, which is definitely more gold even, and a little bit darker than um, Sparkler. This is Celestial, it's one of my favorites. It's like a rose gold with tiny green sparkles in it. It works amazing as a one and done. It's probably my most used shade out of these. So this off the hook, another one of my favorites is like a taupe. This is a stellar, which is like a red. I don't know how to describe this this color. I think it's yeah, it's like a copper. I don't think I've ever used this one on my eyes. So this is solar flare, which is like a little more purple version of uh, stellar the one we swatched before. Did this get down, which is like a brown with these purpley sparkles? This is the last one I'm gonna swatch on this arm, and then I'm gonna have to 
clean it and start over, I think. I don't think I can fit more. Or maybe I can fit one more. This one also works great as a one and done shade because it has that dark base. I'm gonna give you a last look at these and then I'm gonna wash my arm and do the last uh, eight shades. Get Down is really less sparkly and the sparkles are smaller than the rest of them. I feel like the sparkles on Get Down are similar to the sparkles on Spirit Quartz. They're just like smaller. Did this Aura Glow, which is like a sheer purple with blue sparkles? It's just so hard to get the product out of that tiny opening. This is Comet. It, this is a very interesting one because it's like a marble shade. I think I have a few of these marble shades, but it's like a dark purple with these silver sparkles. Did this blue Morpho, which is like an iridescent blue. Uh, these are so hard to get the product without getting it all over your nail. This is Prism, which is like a dark brown base with these green sparkles. This one also works really well as a one and done shade. This is Supernova, which is another one of those marble shades. It has like some really dark, I don't know if it's like a dark blue or dark green or even black, with some blue and gold uh, chunks. So let's see how it swatches. I don't think I've ever used this one. It's looking like a dark green. Really pretty. I think this one would also work really well as a one and done shade. Okay, we're almost done. This one is caviar. This one is beautiful. It's like a dark, cool toned brown. This one also works very well as a one and done shade. Look at that, it's beautiful. This one is Later Skater, which is like a really, really dark brown, almost black maybe, with gold sparkles. Oh, I got a chunk of this. Uh, I got way too much. And last but not least, we have Soray, which is like a cool tone, like 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 a black with silver sparkles, I guess. It looks more like a gunmetal shade instead of like a black. 